Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know, we at HTV, we want to bring you the information about the candidates who are running for you in your particular district. Welcome to the show, Kim Chauvin, running in District 8. Kim, welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate y'all doing this and having us on to so that we can kind of get our missions across, our goals and things that we want to do within our district. I appreciate it. Tell me what you think the people need to know about you and are that mission. Um, I think the first thing that you need to realize is that I'm a fighter by nature. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. I've always been this person that when I think something needs to be done, I can listen um, to those who are in the positions that can do something for it. I can also listen within the community to understand the needs and where they're coming from and trying to figure out what that compromise will be when you're working with government. Um, I've been doing this for so many years in the fisheries that right. to say um, that we are an underdog is one of the, it, it's so underestimated within our fishery that when we come to the table to get things done, people don't understand the fisheries as it is, what it brings to the table within a parish, a state, mm -hmm. and even on a federal level. Um, so that helps me to understand how to go about government. I've been doing this for probably about 20, 25 years. Right. Um, that helps me to understand a bit more. It also helps me to understand like DOD, DODT. And that has to do with, um, and I know I'm going way off, but it's one of those things where when you understand that you are a subsidiary of New Orleans mm -hmm. and that you're going to be an underdog right. to fight to get what you need, right. it's not always the fight that mm -hmm. does it, it's the relationships. You know, mm -hmm. and I've been in church okay. for a long time and my pastor has always said, good relationships will re release good resources. Okay. So my thing is that maybe we need to go at this as, as, in a more effective manner right. um, to create those relationships within certain entities to try and get the things that we need. Because I look around our district, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, are we in need of things that need to be done. Right. So partnerships make a difference. Oh, Finding definitely. Finding a way to partner with people to get what you need. Yes. And you and David have had to do that in the fight that y'all have had just to stand up for making sure that y'all get everything that you need for honoring this wonderful um, opportunity for people for fisheries. Yeah, we're doing that now. We're working through from parishes from Cameron all the way into the east part. We're needing resolutions. It has to do with a, uh, an executive order that the president has signed on to to get to the Department of Commerce. So that's being done. Um, I've hooked up with someone um, in Plaquemines Parish, Kendra, and she was well aware through being on federal, federal um, fisheries um, organizations mm -hmm. of some of the things that were coming to fruition and that, that we can jump aboard. And so we're doing that and also the resolution for a uh, shrimp fishery uh, disaster declaration. And it's in, it's in conjunction with other people who are working on some of the same things. Right. But I think when you work grassroots, it is more effective that the governor sees from Cameron to Plaquemines. We are all on the same page for a need. And then you go to your congressional delegation that says every single parish, even the town councils like Waswego and Gretna and um, Jean Lafitte are jumping on along with their parish. And, and you take those ideas and bring that back to your district in what you want to do for the parish council. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking around. Um, I have been doing my homework. Okay. I have called on in drainage, Joey Sehan. I right. went and meet with him and, you know, like, what are, what are the needs? What has been done? Um, I'm probably going to take a little field trip with him. Okay. I'm going to call on Scotty Dryden with roads and bridges and pollution control because there are things that are needed in that part of it. Um, I'm also, I've met with the uh, fire chief in Chauvin okay. to see her needs. I went to the recreation meeting uh, this last, on the 7th, mm -hmm. to kind of see what they're doing and listening to and bringing, I brought them a little bit of information that maybe some were very unsure of, but needed to be aware of uh, in collecting the recreational tax and how it's done there and what we're missing out on. Um, so instead of waiting to get into office and really going to figure out what needs to be done, you're trying to help figure out what needs to be done now. Oh, right now. The, the okay. time is 
is of the utmost importance okay. that you take this time to right. do your research so that when you're elected, you, it, it's run, it's go right. time. So it's, it's boots on the ground to figure out what's needed. Once you get elected, it's running. Yes. Of what's needed. So and it will a, be a run. <laughs> <laughs> and we got about a minute and a half left. What is it that you want to say uh, to people in District 8 and or to the parish about why it's important for you to represent them? I think one of the things that I'm doing is uh, I'm going out and meet with people. Okay. I think that we need a multi-generational, cross-generational committee meeting within our district to figure out the needs. I'm 55. As 55-year-old, I don't want the same thing as a 20-year-old. Right. But and I we need don't to understand know. what the 85-year-old Right. Needs. And I need to know what that 20-year-old wants to stay in mm -hmm. Terrebonne Parish. How do we keep you here? That's imperative. I think that um, it is super important to become a leader to have that servant heart. If you can't serve, you can't lead. Mm. Therefore, I think that that is the most important part is to understanding what it is to be a leader, what it means. Right. And that is to be, that is to serving your community on a basis of everyone in the community and trying to figure out what works and don't sugarcoat things. I'm not a sugarcoater. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna tell, tell you the like truth. Right. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Yeah, well, Kim, I've been knowing you a long time. I know that that's very much the truth. So good luck to you in the race. Good luck to you in running, and uh, we'll see what happens here come election time. That'll right. work. All right, thanks. thanks for joining us, Kim. Right. All right, guys, that will do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV.